everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I want to go over how to create a GIF in Final Cut Pro 10 and Canva. And yes, you're going to need Canva to create a GIF because you can see right here there's no way to export a GIF um, in Final Cut Pro 10. You're going to have to use like a third party plugin or um, a different app. I believe there's a plugin you know, for Final Cut or a third party app. Uh, it does cost like 50 bucks. I'm going to go over and basically show you how to create it completely for free. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Command End to uh, create a new project, um, GIF. Um, example right here obviously you can name whatever you want now go over here to format you can uh, click on square vertical um, 1080 I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on square right here um, I'll leave it at 30 frames per second um, because the original video is 30 frames per second now I'm gonna go ahead over here to color space I'll just leave it on rec 709 because it's kind of the standard right here so go ahead and you know, adjust these settings um, until you know it uh, you know, matches your video with the look that you want so you can see right here there we go I just created a project right here. Now I head over here, so this is basically just a square project um, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the footage right here, Travis Kelsey footage, import the Travis Kelsey footage right here. Obviously, you know, you can uh, select any clip that you want. So let's go ahead and play it right here and kind of just get the footage that we want. Let's go ahead and just trim it right here. And then I'll click on Control D two seconds right here. Also, all, all I'm doing right here is just, you know, getting the clip, um, trimming the clip, and then, you know, adjusting the settings. Let's go over here to Spatial Conform right here. Go to Spatial Conform, click on Fill. All that does is make sure that it fills the entire screen uh, so you don't have any black bars, unless, of course, you know, that's the look that you want. Let's go over here to View Show Horizon. Take the X axis and just drag it over here. So you can see, there we go. Now, all I did, all I did, the only reason I did that um, was to center Travis Kelsey. Uh, it, it, it's uh, all dependent on your clip right here. So there we go. Now you can do more than just add a video. You could add text. You could do whatever you want in um, a GIF. So as you can see right here, there we go. All I want is just, you know, a shot of Travis Kelsey right there. And that's good, you know, just um, uh, for the example. Let's click on Command E right here to export it. Now go to settings right here, H.264. I'm not sure which if this, uh, specific codec recommended or if it has to be you know, dot, uh, an .mp4 file. I'm not sure. I always leave it on dot, uh, dot .mov because of um, Apple. But you could try dot, uh, you could do M uh, a .mov or a .mv4. You can go ahead and change the formats of the video codec. It all depends on you. I found this works perfectly. Uh, it lo it lo looks perfectly fine. So as far as I know, that works. But if it doesn't, you can go ahead and adjust it. I just want to show you my settings. Now let's go ahead and click on next. All I want to do right here is just export the file um, right here. So GIF example, and I'll just save this to my desktop. You can obviously you know save it anywhere you want. So let's go ahead and play it right here. And then as you can see, there we go. Just a very, you know, just a, a basic, you know, two second shot. Now, I can't, remember, I can't remember if I said it or not, but a GIF, I think, I be, as a, uh, from what I understand, a GIF usually is between two and six seconds. Um, so I, I believe a GIF can go all the way up to six seconds, uh, but don't quote me on that. But I would probably leave it between two or three seconds. I think that just looks the best. So what you want to do now that you've um, exported the video, you want to head over to Canva right here. And to be honest, I'm not sure if you have to create a, an account um, to create a new project. But I'll just go ahead and you know, just uh, just leave as a disclaimer. I do have an account. You may have to create an account, but don't worry. Uh, it's completely free. So I'm gonna do it after I open up Canva. I'm gonna go over, uh, over here, select um, create a design right here. Now go ahead, you know, add a custom dimension. Um, select whatever um, resolution or whatever format you want. I'm gonna head over here to Instagram post 1080 by 1080. But you can create your own custom size. Go ahead and pick whatever format you want. But I think in most uh, most cases you're probably gonna do this one. Um, Instagram post. That's why the original video that I exported was in a 1080 um, by 1080 format. You want to head over here to upload right here and then go over here to upload media. So let's go over here to desktop right here. As you can see right here, here is the shot of Travis Kelsey. Go ahead and click on open right here. So all I'm doing is just importing the media um, into uh, Canva right there. It's just like you would, you know, with Photoshop, I don't care, whatever. It's just you know normally um, importing media right here. Canva is a great, uh, a great uh, server, a great thing to kind of use with Final Cut because it's a photo editing studio. Like Final Cut is a video editing, and Canva is a photo editor. There's a whole bunch of uh, cool stuff you can do in Canva. I've already made multiple videos on Canva, so I definitely um, give it a shot. So let's go over here, take the clip, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it right here. So you can see right there, it messed up. But you wanna make sure you completely drag it in um, right there. That way it completely fills up the video right there. So let's go ahead, click it. You can obviously you know, preview it right here. So there you go. Um, that is the shot right here. So there, that's what it looks like right there. So you can preview um, if you want right there. Now what you wanna do, this is the important part. 
uh, let's go over and just to oh, let's call this like um, gif um, test right here so I'm gonna go ahead we'll just call this um, example right here uh, example you know Travis um, Kelsey right here I think that's how you spell his name I don't know actually I can't remember exactly um, but uh, there you go just call the example Travis Kelsey right there you can you know obviously uh, name it whatever you want so we're gonna go over here to download right here go to download and then here's the important part not mp4 not J jpeg PSG, whatever you want to go over here to gif short clip no sound so click on gif right here so you're on gif right here go ahead and click on download right here so there you go you want to make sure the file is on gif um, right here and then just click on download and it'll take maybe one or two minutes um, to download so as you can see right here, it successfully saved the design right here. You can just go ahead and exit right here. Now we can just take this GIF and then drag it on um, to the desktop right here. So you can see right here, here is the GIF right here. Example, Travis Kelsey dot GIF. It is a GIF right there. Now I'm gonna go up, basically just go over a couple of different ideas before, uh, rather than just, you know, just show you how to do a GIF. Now you obviously know you put this on uh, social media. So you can also go over here. I could take the GIF right here. I could drag it um, and I can airdrop it. Um, to my phone. I wouldn't recommend airdropping because the quality is not going to be as good. But basically, now you want to do is you want to get this file to your phone. So use, you know, Google Drive, WeTransfer, AirDrop, whatever you want to do to get this file to your phone. So basically, you can use, um, again, AirDrop or um, Google Drive. Again, you just want to get this video or get this uh, file to your phone. Again, again, you can use AirDrop, whatever you use to normally get files or share files um, to your phone, or obviously, you know, if you're sharing this. Or if you make uh, creating a gift for a client or whatever, go ahead and send this over. But, I'm, but all you want to do right here is I'm going to show you how to create a gift, and now just send the gift um, wherever you want. Now, a great way to use a gift is in the YouTube Community tab. So to show you, you know, this video isn't clickbait, you can go ahead and head over to my Community tab, and I've already posted um, this gift just to show you that this video you know isn't clickbait and actually does work. Go over to my Community tab, and I posted this gift. Um, so you know, make sure I'm actually being, you know, being authentic. But I would highly encourage you to actually uh, make your a community tab uh, post private before you post it, because it takes like 15 minutes um, for the gift to actually be posted. So in case you made a mistake, I would encourage you to either like, schedule a post or create it private, just so you give it enough time to upload. And of course, um, you can upload this um, to Twitter as a normal gift. So go ahead, you know, go ahead and you know, click on you know, like a new tweet or whatever, and then just actually import the photo. And I've over, I've also done that on my Twitter. So if you want to go ahead and uh, head over there, and, you know, uh, get kind of authenticated and make sure that, you know I'm being completely authentic. I post this GIF on Twitter. So if you want to go ahead and see that, just you know, check to make sure um, this does work. And then on Instagram, um, it doesn't really work that well on Instagram. Basically, what you have to do is you just have to create a looping video. So you know, take the video, that two second video, and then just kind of copy it multiple times to create a looping video. For like Instagram posts and Instagram stories, because Instagram does not accept a .gif file. You have to be like a .mov or .mp uh, .mp4 um, file. So just you know, a little heads up. Another app you can use is I believe it's called Giphy.com. Is it? That's another great app, another great uh, website app you can use um, for creating GIFs. So go ahead and definitely, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Basically, the whole point of this video is to use Canva because I, I, I want to basically show you how to create your own custom GIFs for like Twitter and like the YouTube community tab. Primarily, this video is focused more on the YouTube community tab because you can't post videos on the community tab. You can only post photos and GIFs. So I want to show you how to create a GIF um, in the YouTube community tab. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 270 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.